One for the glory, two for the story, story of a warrior. I know you feel it, you feel the spirit, spirit of a warrior. Take all light, no one will leave, now I get them done with the show, but still. Level up, tell the rest, step it up, get big, win, make a rabbit, up it at a real Hi everyone, this is the Legendary R back again with more. This time I'm going to be doing another Bela Burst unboxing. This is going to be for Bela Burst Quadra, the Cosmic Vector Battle Set. And if you don't know about this, this is actually the 2022 Bailey kind of um, entry set. Like in Takara Tummy terms, they would call it entry set. But yeah, this is basically their quad drive set. Well, this basically has bro set for the new quad drive series, or like the the season and also the um, the gimmick for the season is quad drive. And they see Magma and Freya getting bursted. This is a four on one. Here's the side of the box. Yeah, and um, destruction bell fires an attack type and. Magma Ifer is a balance type. And there you go for the top. Um, here's the bottom, nothing on the bottom. Um, this side shows you the shows you some of the art there. I can't really show it too much because my space is kinda limited, but yeah. Overall, it just has four ways to play. They're just trying to advertise that they're basically just trying to advertise this this part right here which i'll probably zoom into it's just that this is core mode core um core plus this is apex plus and this is um core just regular core than regular apex basically these are just low and high modes so high mode is when the baby is like this the low mode is when the baby is like that that's basically the whole kind of gimmick for it. Then it just have the plus on there because those are the that's what makes the bay white look more like the car tell me. But yeah. We'll get into that a little bit more after I open up the box. But I still wanted to give you like a little bit of an overview of the box before we get into it. Just in case you wanted to kind of see this a few years later then go back. But yeah, um We'll get into everything after I unbox it. So, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so the layer for this one is called Destruction Bellfire. I actually don't have the Takara Tummy release of it, but it does look pretty interesting. It looks just like the Takara Tummy one, which I'll probably show over here. Just the orientation is a little bit off when it comes to the, um, the gold. The still looks pretty nice though. It's missing a little bit of the white stickers, but it's not like I can really see. It's like a small criticism. The armor is actually plastic instead of metal, as you can clearly see here. And those are the slopes. Not too sure if those are good or bad, but we'll see. And there's a QR code if you want to scan it. And yeah. Not too much to say about that. It looks just like Takara tell me and yeah, just a little bit different. That's not to really say. Then if you want to if you want to switch the modes, you have to push this part. And then twist. Like that. This is actually my first time doing it, so I'm kinda learning along with you. Yeah. Twist in, and then you do it like this, and there you go. That is high mode or um, apex mode. But the original orientation was core or um, low mode. But yeah, just wanted to kind of show you that, even though I somehow did it without knowing, without completely knowing how to do it, it's still. Pretty nice to say at least. Yeah, that's Destruction Bellfire. Then the disc is called Nexus. 
Nexus actually has the same kind of, um, has the same shape as the Karatomi, so I believe you could put the S gear on it, which that's kind of a story spoiler, but yeah, you could you can actually put one of the attachments on it. But yeah, I can't really say too much about it because I still have the Takara Tummy one, like I mentioned. It looks pretty nice though. Here is the driver. The driver is called Venture. Well, at least this attachment is called Venture. So under Takara Tummy, this actually has rubber, like on that ring part. Actually has rubber. But they actually removed it for Hasbro. And for quad drive, they actually made this a little bit taller because of the gimmick. The gimmick is that you could twist and then you have a um like an inner kind of driver tip. This one's actually called yielding. So you have venture right here, then this is yielding. That was kind of confusing, but I'm still trying to explain it. And also, they share the same spring, so theoretically, having this, and like the um, and like the um, the the Takara Tommy Accurate part on, should help it gain a little bit more burst resistance. But I'm not entirely sure. Next Beyblade is Magma Ifrit. Well, for this review, I'm just gonna call it Magma Ifrit because. This is the only way that you can actually get this Beyblade. It was never released under Takara Tommy, and if you look at some kind of like screenshots of any of the Beyblade Burst episodes for this season, you'll actually notice that it looks exactly like this. There's no change, there's no anything. This is literally a Hasbro Beyblade in the anime, which is really interesting, but Ifra is one of those Beyblades that's really unique. It is known for having bad burst resistance, but I really like the design for it, so I still decided to get this set. Just at least test out quad drive. Then there's the armor for it, and there is the QR code. Apparently the slopes are really bad, I'm hoping that they're good. But yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Okay, so here's the Beyblade in high mode. If you want to see it. Okay, so here's the disc. The disc is apparently called Sequex, but I don't know. Zanky called it that, but no one really knows the name of it. I, I'm not really too sure where Sequex came from in terms of the name, but this disc is a Hasbro exclusive and no one knows what to, what to really say about it. <laughs> it's not to really say. Then here is the driver. The driver is the attachment for it is called wave which is our very first time getting wave and then for, well under hasbro at least and then the base for it is called jaggy but yeah this is actually in the anime too so we'll just see what happens with that okay destruction bellfire Wait, what? Oh, I mean, it slides and it's kind of, kind of underwhelming. I mean, it's not extremely loose, but it is kind of loose enough to tell that, yeah, this thing might burst kind of easy if you're not careful, but we'll see what happens. It, it still looks cool, but I don't know how well the burst resistance is. I'm so scared for this one. Okay, Magma Ifrayer. Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> the slopes are so bad. I'm scared, <laughs> please. I'm really hoping this isn't so bad. Uh, I'm hoping for the best. But yeah, MacMaster, yeah. I didn't unbox the, the string launcher set yet, so we're gonna try everything with the dynamite battle launcher. Three, two, one, light, yeah. Okay, just gentle hits. They're really gentle so far. No! Magma. 
Magma burst it. Three, two, one, light it. Come on. I really hope Magma doesn't burst. And Magma held on. Okay. Bellfire still wins round two. Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, that was kind of expected because of the hard hits. Yeah, Bellfire was also halfway to bursting. So, overall, they seem to kind of burst a little easy. But there's still hope. We're going to do it again, but in high mode. Okay, so this is how the Beyblades look in high mode. I actually, um, I took off the armor tips, so... They will act differently, but... Just want to show you the big gap. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, let's Yeah, I'm not expecting if we're to do better. I'm just not. I mean, it can always surprise me, but I'm not expecting anything crazy. Okay. Bellfire wins round one. Round two. <laughs> so close. Okay, Bellfire wins again. Okay, now I got the tips back on, so this should act better, hopefully. <laughs> 3, 2, 1, light rush. If I just burst either way, yeah, Bellfire wins. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm really hoping if we can at least get one win. And nope. Close, but yet so far. No slide there, that's actually good. Okay, so with this set, we officially started Bailey Burst Quad Drive. And overall for this set, I feel like it's a good I feel like it's actually a good purchase. And this is just me talking at the beginning of the wave, like when things are really hyped and things are coming out and after waiting so long and things like that. So overall, I don't know how hard they are to get, but I feel like this is one of those sets they just should get because of the, not just the new system, but also the new parts, then you also get new gimmicks and things like that. So. I recommend it for people that are trying to have fun and people that are just trying to collect things. Or if you just want the Beyblades of Ilya, Mao, and Bell. Because that's all you're really buying the, the set for is stadium, the stadium, the Beyblades themselves, or the parts. And that's about it. They also did come with these launchers. So, straight report as usual, and then this new launcher. So this new launcher doesn't connect to the old launchers as per usual at this point, but they have actually uh, this gimmick where you can take off the armor, I think they're called armor tips, and you can actually, um, you're supposed to be able to, yeah right here, let's see those two tabs. It lines up. It lines up and then you twist and then boom you have your armor tips on the go. I mean it's kind of smart but then again I don't really know how good these launchers are. Overall I really like quad drive so far and it just seems like it seems like it's just fun but the designs for these Beyblades are kind of bad because of the Lack of anime accuracy. That's just a minor nitpick. Other than that, 
I really like quad drive and I feel like this set at least is worth a purchase. So like if you want, share if you want, and subscribe to become a legend in the making. See you next time, bye, and we are proven to be legendary. Stay legendary.